Greetings guys, how are you? I hope that you're doing great on this fabulous Tuesday because I certainly am not. This is the story of my day. So for starters, I knew that today was going to be particularly rough because this week I am on a five day stretch and normally I'm one of those people who likes to have days off like after a couple of days, let me have a day off so that I can get my mind back in track. But nope, this time they had me working starting on Sunday all the way until Thursday. Now, for anybody who's worked customer service, you know that that can be particularly challenging, especially if you have a schedule that never knows certainty. Like, for instance, on one day, I had four hours. Another day, I had five hours. Another day, I had four hours and a half. Another day, I am going to have seven hours. Another day, I'm going to have eight hours and stuff like that. So that can get pretty irritating because you're like, all right, when is the clock going to be on my side? And there comes a point in which you don't even know at what time you are going to start, nor at what time you're going to end. So today I got up and I'm like, all right, what should I wear? I couldn't find anything to wear. Something that simple I was struggling with. So I always sleep with one of these, which is, you know, a water cup. And the moment I try to drink it, I shower with it. It's like, why is this so hard for me? That's how I know that it's about time for me to have a day off. And I know I already have a video about that, but this is looking at it from a different angle. And then I go downstairs, you know, start getting my breakfast fixed and everything that I hold just falls to the ground. Like I was trying to fix myself my smoothie and the blueberries were like all over the counter and some of them fell on the floor. And then when I was trying to dispense milk into my cup, some of it like hit the edge and just went everywhere except inside the cup. And then I also needed to make a choice last night between going to bed earlier or leaving some dishes so I decided to leave the dishes because my sleep is more important. So anyway, the dishes that I had left were from the meal that I had fixed earlier or well, the preceding day. So it's not like I needed to use them today, but I'm like, damn, when I get back home this evening, I'm gonna have some crap to get done. And anyway, so I always like to make sure that my blender is at least clean and as I'm trying to put the parts back together, sometimes I don't know how this happens, but sometimes the little elastic part just doesn't shut well the way you would expect. And then on two occasions, when I'm in a great hurry, it has to just fail no matter how much pre-testing of it I do, which is turn on the faucet and see if I lose any water. But no, at least that didn't happen today, but I had so much fear that that would happen today. At any rate, so when I got to work, it was kind of a rough start because for some reason I had issues with my acid reflux. So I had to pop some pill because, you know, I whined to somebody about it and they found it for me. But that's terrible because it gives you like a feeling like you're going to get a heart attack at any time. And then when you have a rough start of your day, that doesn't make matters any better. But anyway, so I keep going about my day, you know. And then something I noticed is that everybody was having a problem of some sort. Because, let me give you an example. I greet somebody... And this is a disease in which people just don't listen. But I was greeting someone and they were immediately saying, I did. Because normally I'm like, so uh, did you have any trouble with anything? Did you find everything all right? And stuff like that. And But no, I go like, hello, how are you? And then they start going like, I did. It gets annoying because I'm like, 
only the only time you listen is when you have an issue of some sort and then you know we're expected to keep track of each other like i initially tell someone look i'm sorry but i'm having a bit of a rough day so if I don't answer your questions properly. I'm sorry. Just be patient with me and repeat it to me. You know, I'm, I believe that I'm a great person to conduct business with. But some other instances, I get particularly challenged. But at any rate, something was up in the air today because people were either handing me the wrong change or just forgetting stuff or I would forget their stuff sometimes or things would hide in plain sight and things like that and I'm like I think we all as a population just need a big ass vacation and you know we are so like we work way more than what we should and it's like it's sad because you start seeing the consequences they start to translate to you doing crazy things physically and then mentally you also feel drained it's like people talk to you and you're like i'm sorry what like lately i've been saying that a lot to the folks around me like my mother and my boyfriend i'm like i know you're speaking you're not speaking swahili but for some reason i still don't understand what you're saying or you are sounding like a mumble to me let me stop let me concentrate i am listening to you talk to me now so that's how I know that I just need to like step aside and take it easy. But it's crazy because you never stop to think about what's going on with you until just mistake after mistake, issue after issue, stuff just happens. And then at the end of my shift, I'm supposed to turn like a little slip in and I couldn't find it. It was with me earlier like some half hour prior to the end of my shift but then all of a sudden i'm like hey i'm missing the slip where is it i didn't find it i don't remember throwing it away because i know better and i found it or i was searching in the places where it's likely to get lost and i couldn't find it so i'm like shoot it probably went along with somebody but at any rate um i have two more days to go and it's going to be the roughest types because I have seven hours tomorrow and then eight hours the next day but I know that when I finish I'm going to have a great sense of accomplishment but I'm just hoping that in the three days off consecutive that I have coming up I just hope that I can like get my mind back to where it needs to be because right now it's like I can feel it. It's like the mental draining, the mental fatigue. And ideally, I would just go ahead and start doing something else. But in the conditions and situations and circumstances that surround us in present times, that is not really an option. So, you know, I just want to be able to go back to where I was two days ago, where I was finding joy in everything and everywhere. So anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to me. I know I'm sounding a little rambly or ranty, whatever you want to call that, but I just had to get this out. And I was going to film this in my car, but I thought that would be a terrible idea because it is super hot outside. And I particularly do not well, do not do well. There you go. I couldn't even talk right. But anyway, I don't do well being out in the heat. All right. So see you guys soon.